Hi and welcome. I'm joined by five Eurovision fans and we're ready to discuss one of this year's Eurovision entries. My name is Charlotte, I'm from Denmark and I'm your host today. Now let's meet our panel of Eurovision fans before we start talking about the entry from Moldova. Michael, can you introduce yourself? Sorry, too quick there. Hi, I'm Michael from uh, Scotland and I've been a Eurovision fan for a long time. Hi, my name is Elberde. I'm 21 years old and I live in Denmark. I've been watching Eurovision since 2010 and been a fan since 2014. Hi, my name is Luke. I'm from Malta and I'm Maltese. I've been a fan of Eurovision since 1998 and that was my first time watching Eurovision. Hi, I'm Lisa from Denmark. I've been a Eurovision fan practically all my life and I've been traveling for Eurovision for almost 20 years now. Hi, my name is Josef, I'm from the Czech Republic, I'm 29 years old and I work as a data analyst and I'm a fan of Eurovision since 2007 when Czech Republic made its debut in Helsinki. The song we'll talk about today is from Moldova. This is one of the countries uh, who reselected their 2020 participant. It's uh, Natalia Gordienko, I hope I pronounced it right, and uh, her song uh, is uh, Sugar. And it's written by a team of well-known Eurovision songwriters, Dimitris Kontopoulos and Filip Kierkogov. This video is a sugar overload in candy floss, ice cream, cakes, all the stuff that often makes us uh, want more. Question is, do you guys want more of this song? Michael, what do you think about it? Well, it's really angry with the Moldova to begin with, because when the song was announced, whatever time they said they were going to announce the song, um, it was two and a half hours of Philip talking. And so the song didn't get off to a very good start with me because I thought, oh, I'm not going to bother liking you. However, the bottom line is it's great. It's really good fun. Well, the video is good fun. The singing might not be quite up to, to, to par and probably won't be on stage, but it's guaranteed going to be a great stage show. And as a result, um, because you got to listen to songs a lot, this is uh, indeed my second favourite this year. Um, I really do like it. So much so, in fact, that I actually got one of the props from the video, one of the ice creams to keep me company when uh, she's going to be performing on Eurovision night. Can we uh, just see that once more? Yeah. There we are. Natalia's <laughs> dancer. Um, is over here. There's another three if anybody wants to find them. <laughs> and Alberta, what do you think about it? At first, I didn't really like it because I don't have a tendency to like like overly pub-ish songs in Eurovision and overly like cliche songs. But I've actually grown to really love it. It's my tenth place currently. I I think it's a really good song. It's really catchy with the. Uh, not the chorus, but like the drop, the da 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 part. I really like that. It's it's a really cool song, and I think it's worth dancing to and having fun to. And not everything has to be that serious and about cliches or not. It's just a fun song. It's really nice. And look, is it also a fun, nice song for you? Um, I kind of sits in the middle for me. Um, um, I cannot say it's a bad song, but I cannot say it's a good song. But what I really love about this is that they are staying true to what they actually are. I mean, it's just a bunch of sugar. You know, the song is actually sugar, like really heavy sugar. And she not afraid to admit it. I mean, I know it's sugar, so let's just name the song Sugar. Um, so, yeah, but it, it's, uh, I mean, it had a potential to be staged really well, and I think it will, given that it's smalled over, but um, uh, I don't think that it's one of the best songs this year. Just in the middle, in the middle. Well, I never watch videos because uh, um, it's uh, the stage show that you have to uh, judge from uh, in the Eurovision, so I don't watch uh, videos. So I haven't seen all the sugar overload, but I can imagine that there must be some. Um, I think the song is uh, quite okay. Uh, it's 22nd for me, so not 
uh, not really a top favorite, but it's okay to listen to. I don't skip it or anything. Um, I think I'm going to um, fight uh, with the Serbia for the Taylor voters um, because they have a bit of the same style. So it's for I guess uh, in the semifinal it will be who has the best stage show and. Um, I actually, uh, when, when it's Kierkegaard uh, behind this song, uh, well, I think the stage show will be uh, better than Serbia's. I anticipate it actually, so, well, let's see. Oh, and one I'm thing, the first time I heard it, da -da 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 -da, and I can't figure out where I've heard this before. Can, can someone help me? It sounds a little bit like Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, but just a little bit. Just a little bit? No, it, I mean, it's it's basically like a song that you hear every day on the radio. So there are like millions of songs that actually have some kind of this song. You know? Yeah, I can just hear a little it's bit of... Billie Eilish. Yeah, that's okay. Which, yeah. Because I can't. I have been going out of my mind to try and figure out which song it is. And the, hereby, we also have the question out to uh, our viewers. And uh, Joseph, what do you think about the the entry from Moldova? Well, I like Natalia as an artist because I think that she's quite kind of kind of a good singer which what she proved last year when they got their national final but i'm really glad that they stepped up uh, compared to the last year because i think that prison was really really a bad choice so i am glad that now they brought something which is current which is modern which is likable even though um, um, there will be a lot of people who will not like the song at all I'm a little bit indifferent to it, but I'm not hating it. I think it's okay, and I'm pretty sure that the live performance will be will be quite good. Well, it has the dream team behind it, so yeah, we know what Philip Kerkorov is capable of with his team. So yeah, and uh, when uh, Lisa mentioned that uh, it reminds her something, now when I'm thinking about the song without any images or what videos at all i somehow got in my head a little bit kylie minogue ish something like that uh, which may be similar to some of her maybe uh, past songs so yeah there may be some connection moldova have uh, scored well at the uh, eurovision in uh, 2017 with a third place and a 10th place in 2018 but then, in 2019, they didn't reach the final. Um, are we sure to uh, see Moldova in the final uh, this time? Uh, Josef, what do you think? Well, I think that Moldova should qualify and uh, I, will, I would probably maybe bet on it. But it's not like it's not like 100% sure as, for example, I don't know, Sweden or someone like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that Moldova is uh, in a really good position and I think that uh, they have really high chances to qualify. And Lisa? Yeah, well, um, as I said before, I think they are going to fight with the Serbia about the Taylor voters. Um, but I, uh, since it's, again, uh, Kyogorov, uh, one of them behind the team. I think that the, uh, the stage show will probably be uh, the, better than the, so I th think that Moldova will qualify. Um, I'm, I'm really torn about this, whether, it, should whether it will qualify or not. I think it should qualify, but whether it will, I don't know. Um, as uh, uh, Josef, I think Josef said, um, this is a song that will please the viewers um, I don't think it will please the jury very much um, and the fact that uh, both uh, Romania and Ukraine and Russia are in the other semi 
Um, so they are not voting for Moldova. And the fact that they have Serbia in the same semi, which will uh, potentially steal the votes from Moldova, I don't know. But Moldova has a really good reputation for giving us really good performances. Um, so I think it will qualify maybe in the 10th place, that just making it. And then in the final, I think it will go well. Maybe it will come like 12th place, somewhere like that. I think it will qualify, but I have to agree with Luke. I think it will be a really close call. Like if it qualifies, it will come in 10th or something or 9th just a low position in the semi-final. But I I also have to agree again with the others. Serbia is in the same semi-final and none of Moldova's friends are in the same semi-final. So I think it's really hard to tell, but I think it has a broad appeal, the song. So that could attract voters from other countries as well. But let's see. And Michael? Yeah, um, I was confidently going to say yes, but I, I'm just looking at the list of countries that um, that it's with that's in the, the second semi-final and there is no obvious obvious friends of Moldova but with, with a bit of luck um, the other countries at least will have it in their top 10 that it's going to give it enough uh, points to qualify so um, I'm going to say yes and I hope that it does. My own opinion about this song um, unfortunately I have to say no, no and just no uh, the song really doesn't work for me I actually have it among the worst entries this year. So to hear uh, Michael, who said it was his second favorite, that's completely opposite uh, of me. I was so disappointed uh, 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 to find out that uh, Kontopoulos and Kirov uh, wrote this one because really they should have been able to come up with something a lot better. Um, I don't think it will qualify, and if they do anyway, I will be hugely disappointed because really there are 12, 13, 15, 16 other songs that deserve more to qualify uh, from, <laughs> from the semi-final. Uh, so, no. <laughs> um, using the Eurovision scale, 0 to 8, 10 and 12 points, this is 0 points. Uh, Sorry, I can't give it anything because really, uh, really, it doesn't get much worse than this. Uh, but uh, Michael, I know you'll give it higher points. How many? Well, in that second semi-final, I would in fact give it the 12. Um, and because it's my second favourite, I'm going to give it 10. But either way, uh, as you say, the exact opposite from uh, the results that you gave it. And Alberta? It's my 10th place, um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it seven points because I think it's a good song, but it's not amazing. And look. Um, for me, it's like six in the middle, so I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, well, I have uh, 20 seconds and uh, a lot higher than Serbia, so for me, it's uh, four points. Here, I agree with Luke and I will give Moldova and Natalia five points. So we uh, definitely had some uh, some mixed uh, views here on uh, the Moldovan entry. Um, is there anyone who have something they would like to add? Speak now or forever hold you. Okay, <laughs> I will take a word. I am just curious what they will bring on the stage. Because seeing the video, which in the end is, well, let's be honest, a little bit creepy, let's uh, let's focus maybe on the dance because she has their kind of a viral dance and if they are going to bring it on the stage pr probably not with her exactly doing it as she will be singing so maybe only some backup dancers or whatever so it will be really interesting to see what they will bring on the stage i just want to say that i still remember the moldovian entry with those uh, redos or do redos and I think it was so brilliant on stage, so I'm expecting something like that again. 
well, if they pull uh, something like uh, that up, then uh, then my zero point might just raise a little bit. Maybe I can get up to a half or maybe even one point if it's spectacular. With that, I would like to say thank you to our panel and to our viewers. We'll soon return with the uh, new panel members and the rest of the 2021 songs. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and follow your visionary. And bye, guys. Bye. Bye.